you know when you are in your spiritually awakened state it is no longer about them and me them and us you know that there are the others and there are us there are those that are asleep and there are us that are awake you know there is no polarity and there is no duality we are not here to separate we are not here to create different or more communities right we have enough communities and so many new ones sprouting every day new belief new thought system and and actually there really is no new set of beliefs or new thoughts or new ideas all we are really doing is there are discoveries that have all been discovered before there were people that were spiritually awake or not awake before and there are people who have been asleep and still asleep and will wake up or not wake up right that attitude of there is them and there is us i am the leader you are my follower or you are the leader i am the follower that hierarchy goes in a spiritual awakening there is no competition because you are connected to the infinite source of it all when you're in that connection and you're content right there is no all of these things that are so divisive or divisive they don't exist not in the awakened state in the transition yes and sometimes that division is necessary in transition because it helps us heal and when we are going through a healing uh, it sometimes it's necessary for us to be on our own so that we get strong enough to allow us not to engage outwardly right and that means not to allow something to impress upon you to the extent that it has the ability to change your beliefs to change your thoughts and therefore change your vibration for you to change your entire way of thinking right now given that there is such a thing if we can all get together and you're all going through a spiritual awakening or you want to go through a spiritual awakening right and you're prepared you have the grit to face it all you have the grit to let go of all the notions all the ideas all the philosophies even spiritual awakening is not a philosophy it's not a religion right spiritual awakening has nothing to do with even a way of life but yes some people can create a whole religion out of it no doubt right but do we need any more of this so when you're on that spiritual awakening path follow that follow your awakening make your awakening itself your teacher right during your awakening process yes you will have moments when you have doubts moments when you feel like you need clarity and you have that inside of you too the way of getting clear right the way of getting clear is for you to sit on it to sleep over it right to be with yourself now if you're going to chant a mantra after mantra you're going to go through and do all these other things that we do you're going to meditate first thing in the morning you're going to do some affirmations as you wake up so that you are influencing your psyche your subconscious mind or when you are on a heavy belly you're going to do doing certain exercises or you're going to be tightening certain locks inside of your body to push the energy up right why are you doing all of this so do we know what we're doing do we know why we're doing this or what am i what am i going with all of this and can it be done or what is it that is the it without all of these tools are these tools necessary right are we looking at them as tools or are we getting carried away with the tool right 
Your only tool in a spiritual awakening that must show up no matter what is your awareness. Right? You get to know yourself. You get to know yourself. You can simply just lie down all day. You can sit on the sofa, whatever you want to do. Bring yourself into a state of minimalist or nominal amount of outside or outer external stimuli. When that is reduced, the likelihood of you being impressed upon falls. And that's when you can hear the, what we say in Swahili, kelele. What we say in Hindi, shore. Right? You can start to hear all that noise that's going on on the inside. But if it is so difficult to just be on your own, sit alone, right? Then take a rain check on spiritual awakening. Now, when you can, go, run. Now. Yeah? And come back when you are ready. Because chances are, if you are still struggling with that, then there's been no shift, right? There's been no consciousness shift. Because one of the tenets, if there's going to be a tenet of a spiritual awakening, is in solitude. It is essential. Or at least one where senses are introverted, right? Or one where you are not engaged. Now, if it is hard for you to carry on with life without being engaged and involved in it so that you can go deeper inside of you, right? Then you may be called to meditate. However you can, isolate yourself. Go in a cave, make your room a cave, right? Simulate that kind of experience that a monk would have been. You live your life like a monk, right? And that is what a spiritually awakened person is. You're not engaged, but you're fully present. You're fully present. You're there. You're aware. But you're not at the beck and call of mm, this tastes good and that's all I want. Yes, you will go through cravings if you're going through a kundalini awakening for example your body might need certain nutrition right so much more on this folks please do leave a comment with any particular aspect of an awakening if you're going through one that you would like us to cover otherwise all my love, as always, please stay tuned in. Take care.